Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this match preview for Tuesday night's game. It's a big one at the bottom of League One. It's Crew Alexandra versus Doncaster Rovers. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview. As I said in the intro, massive game down at the bottom of League One for both teams. Crew Alexandra currently sat bottom, three points away from Donny Rovers, sat in 23rd. So massive six-pointer before one of us gets cut adrift down towards the bottom end of the of the league table. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not too positive a video this one. Very difficult to record, but we'll try and keep the energy. We'll try and keep a bit of positivity because... I like to provide you guys with decent content where, wherever I can. So if you are an existing subscriber and you're sticking around through this turbulent season, thank you very much. Thank you for coming back for this one. If this video has brought you to the channel, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content. If you are new to this channel and this is the first video that you've seen, this is a format that we go through match previews. We'll look at the previous meetings between the two clubs. We'll look at the current form across all competitions. Not great reading for both teams there. I choose a Donny Rovers player to profile and then we have a quick look at the opponent, brief history and my opinion on the one to watch for you guys. Always say it, you know your club much better than what I do so if you think I'm wrong please let me know in the comments down below. And then we round the video off with three predictions. There's the predicted team lineup thanks to FanHub. Me and the family have got predictions league table. I'll give you an update on that one and then we finish the video with the score prediction for the game. So without further ado let's get into previous meetings. Crew and Donny have faced off a total of 102 times in our history. Massive. Um, obviously, been in the same divisions throughout our history um, fairly consistently. And Rovers edge our history with 42 wins out of those 102 games. We've shared the spoils on 25 occasions, but Crew have come out on top 35 times as well. So, does edge towards Donny across our whole history. But when we drill down to the last five meetings, it's Crew. Four wins for them, one win for Donny sandwiched in the middle. So we'll go back to 2016 in League One and away 3-1 defeat. We don't want to be seeing that on Saturday as a Rovers fan. Um, and then both of us in League Two in the 16-17 season and we, sh we shared the spoils. It was uh, a 2-1 away defeat for the Rovers and then a 3-1 home win. So on our travels, not looking too good at the minute, which is not a good omen for Tuesday night. And then League One in the 2020-21 season. It was a home 2-1 defeat and then an away 1-0 defeat. So Crew did the double over us last season. Hopefully that isn't an omen for, for Tuesday night. Like I say, it's not looking good in our recent history and our away form isn't that great coming into this one. And that leads us on to current form. As I said at the start of the video, not great viewing for either club. Rovers last five, we've lost three, won one and drawn one. Thought we might have been turning a corner until Saturday, but I'll get into that in a short while. Crew, on the other hand, coming into this one off the back of four straight defeats um, and one win, which was in the uh, Papa John's Trophy. But yeah, Crew struggling this campaign so far. They're, at, they're without a win in eight league outings and that leaves them bottom three points adrift of Donny coming into this one. Desperate for a win, both teams, but Crew, especially on home soil, will be desperate for these three points. Um, and it's against a team that's failed to gain a, a single solitary point in eight away league games so far. And within that, we've only scored two goals and we've conceded a ridiculous amount, 20 goals conceded. Um, words can't describe or explain my thoughts and feelings at the minute about how we're defending, um, not just at the defence, just defending as a team. Uh, just poor, very poor away from home. Uh, slightly better at home, but still nothing to, to write home about, unfortunately. But, yeah, crew, they've got some very tough games coming up over the next few weeks, so they'll be looking at this one um, and thinking, yeah, we've got a chance of coming away, of, of getting three points on the board here and injecting a little bit of confidence into the squad going into this tough period of fixtures where they'll, they'll be desperate to get points to try and pull themselves away from the bottom of the table. And at the minute, if you need points... At home, Don is probably the best team to to welcome to your stadium, especially with that record of two goals scored and 20 conceded. Ridiculous. Talking about confidence, 
as I say, it's not a term used around Donny at the minute, especially away from home. As I said, the home form is slightly better, and that win and draw last week, win against Cheltenham, draw against Cambridge after going 1-0 down, I thought we may have turned a corner, uh, and then going to Charlton, struggling as we are. Um, I thought we might have been able to battle and get a point, potentially sneak a win, uh, but we just got absolutely schooled on Saturday, ripped to pieces yet again away from home. Um, no desire, no commitment from the squad, and it's frustrating to see. And that frustration is rapidly turning to anger for a lot of fans, which is it's a toxic environment at the minute. So we are also desperate for the three points on Tuesday night. We're yet to secure a solitary point on the road this season, so it is a good thing that our home form is slightly better. Uh, the 11 points we've, we've accrued have all been at the Keepmo Stadium, so something, a little bit of home comforts for the Rovers, but definitely uncomfortable away from home. Uh, but with that dismal display on Saturday, the pressure's mounting on Richie Wellens. Um, because it was against fellow strugglers, I did say in my chart and preview that there was potential factors that could have impacted the game. We played Tuesday night, could fatigue have gone into it? Um, Charlton get rid of Atkins, they're on kind of the, that new manager bounce, uh, the first home game, and what I said came true. I didn't expect to get battered 4-0, um, but we need a response now on Tuesday night, massive response needed. And for me, I think anything less than a win won't be enough for a lot of fans. I think the fans that are still on board and trying to be patient with the process, I think anything less than a win on Tuesday night could end up being the straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, I'm torn at the minute. I'm desperate for Richie to do well. I'm, I'd be desperate for any manager who would come in to, to do well. Um, I think his hands have been tied slightly. Yeah, his recruitment's not been not been the best, um, but I think there's a lot of things that we don't know as fans. Um, but yeah, poor start to the season. It's got to turn. It's got to change it. It's got to. It's got to get the players playing for the badge for the shirt because at the minute, I'm not seeing it. I'm not the only fan that's seeing it. Uh, poor performances. You can get away with carrying one or two players having a poor performance, but. At the minute, it's one or two players are, are actually trying. Um, so, yeah, something wrong at the club for me. Hopefully it comes comes good on Tuesday night and we get that result that we desperately need. On to player profile. For this video, I've gone with Pontus Darberg. Conceded four on Saturday, but according to reports, he kept us... <sighs> I'm going to say he kept us in the game, but we were never in the game. He kept the scoreline partially respectable um, it could have been eight or nine apparently and he's been a very good keeper this season he's made mistakes as everybody has within the within the club um, and within the squad but for me Dahlberg had the confidence been there in front of him I think he'd get more than enough clean sheets uh, to show what ability he's actually got uh, 73 career appearances so far and he's only 22. Very good goalkeeper, one to watch out for in the future, for sure. On to the opponent, Crew Alexandra, founded in 1877, currently managed by David Artel. I like him as a manager, very passionate, very uh, very expressive on the touchline. Um, but I don't think he takes it too far like other managers do. Uh, there's, there's a passion there, and, and I like to see that. It's not going his way this season, as I say. Crew struggling at the minute, but... He's currently at about a 38% win rate since he's taken over at Crew League 2 manager of the season when they got promoted um, in the 1920 season. So he's a, he's a good manager um, and hopefully the turn their form around this season after Tuesday night and uh, and get themselves out of, out of the bother that they're in. But we will see. They, they look like a, similar to us, a bit, of a bit of a team beaten at the minute. So need something to, to turn or something to click for them to, to turn this form around. Recent honours, League 2 runners-up in 2019-2020, uh, League 1 runners-up in 2002-2003, and they've also won the Football League trophy in 2013 as well. And for me, the one to watch for Crew, uh, as I say, it's not been a positive season, but one shining light for you guys, for me, is Mikhail Mandron. Top scorer at the minute, he's only scored three goals, but... 
I think with the way that our defence is playing at the minute, set pieces, crosses, he could have a field day on Tuesday night. And if the defence don't pin him down um, and mark him tightly and battle for the headers, battle for the aerial balls, I think he could he could grab one or two goals on Tuesday night. Um, Scott Robertson, we know him very well from his long spell at Donny last season. He's creating plenty of chances, so I think if we snuffle him out as well, it may prevent Mikhail from having too many opportunities on Tuesday night. So for me, the one to watch for crew on Tuesday is Mikhail Mandrum. On to my predicted team lineup. This is thanks to FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Plenty of features on there for you to get your teeth stuck into, compete against your fellow fans, and there's rewards every single month. So well worth it. Doesn't cost a penny as well. So my predicted team lineup for Tuesday night. Not much has changed from my predicted my predicted team lineup on Saturday. A uh, couple of changes here and there. I've gone with Dahlberg in goal. A back four of Noyle, Anderson, Olowu and Rowe. So Rowe comes in. Uh, Rowe, Sean Williams dropped out. And Olowu moved to his more natural position. Midfield three of Smith, Bostock, Galbraith. And then the front three of Vilker on the right. Iwula on the left. And Dodu up top. Hopefully, that for me, that's probably the strongest team that we can put out. Will it be enough to get three points on Tuesday night? We will just have to wait and see. On to the predictions league table. So if you're new to this, me and the family predict the, t- uh, the scoreline for every single league game. If we get it spot on, we get three points. If we get the result incorrect, but the outcome of the game right, we get one point. If we get it completely wrong, we get no points. I was the only one who went with a Rovers defeat on Saturday. Didn't get the scoreline right, but that's get- that gets me an extra point which puts me on the same points as what Donny have got, 11 at the top of the table. Uh, Dad and Chris are joint second on eight. Max is bottom on seven points. So, as I always say, still pretty tight this table. It will chop and change as the season goes on. If you want to keep up with this before the next preview, I do put the uh, predictions on my Twitter, so that'll be linked in the description down below. Please head over there and follow me if you want to keep up to date with that and everything else I post on there. And finally, that takes me on to my score prediction. I've said it, massive game for both teams. Desperate for the three points, desperate for the result. For pretty much the same reason, really, to try and get remain in touching distance of the of the teams above them. But I think Crew desperate for the three points, slightly more than Donny. Uh, I think if we if we get the three points, we're then six points away from them, cutting them off adrift uh, somewhat so early on in the season. Whereas a win for Crew pulls it much much tighter. Um, and it will lift them off the bottom of the table with goal difference as well. So, massive game. Massive game. Rovers, from my point of view, need the three points. Anything less than three points and the pressure is just going to be mounting on Richie and the club as a whole. So, for me, I hope the players stand up and be counted. The need to put in a performance. The need to put in a result. I'm going to be positive going to be positive I think this is going to be our first point away from home if not we are in some serious trouble but I'm going to stick my neck out I'm going to go with a 3-1 Rovers win we will see and that's where I'm going to leave this video if you've enjoyed it stick a big thumbs up on it for us please comment in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one